Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I'm happy to announce that I will be soon creating a series of videos of showing you that how you can fine tune various LLM models using custom data set. In this video, we are going to see how we can fine tune Llama 2 model uh, with the custom data set by using techniques like parameter efficient transfer learning and low rank adaptation of large language models, which is also called as LoRa. So all these techniques will specifically use in this particular video. I will show you the practical implementation. Uh, and in the upcoming video, because I was planning that how I can efficiently teach you this entire fine tuning techniques because it is a complex topic altogether. So first of all, in this video, we'll see the entire implementation quickly. There will be a template of code, which will try to learn. We'll take a data set. If there is data pre-processing that is required, we will do it. If there is quantization that is required, we'll specifically do it. Okay. And then in the upcoming video, I will try to demonstrate the entire theoretical intuition about this parameter efficient transfer learning and low rank adaptation, what exactly it is. And there is also another variant which is called as Clora. Okay. And then we will try to relate this entire theoretical intuition with the practical implementation. It will be amazing to understand because that is how I have also learned and it was very much helpful for me in order to understand each and everything. As you all know, guys, there, there are a lot of open source models that are going to come up in the future also. And good, good models like Llama 2, Mistral, Falcon, there are so many models as such. It is better that we should know how to fine tune all these models with our own custom data set. And that is what companies will be requiring. So let's go ahead and let's see that how you can uh, fine tune your Llama 2 model uh, with these techniques. Again, here we'll be using transformers uh, from Hugging Face and there will be a lot many different libraries that we'll be using with respect to this. At least get the thousand feet overview about these topics. And in the next topic, when I discuss about the theoretical intuition, your knowledge will get more intact and you'll be able to understand it. So let's go ahead and let's proceed towards the practical implementation. Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this particular video, we are going to see the step by step way of probably fine tuning your LLM models. In this case, I'm going to specifically take open source Llama 2 model and with the help of a custom data set, we are going to fine tune this specific model, right? Over here, we are going to learn about various techniques, practically, not theoretically, because if you really want theoretically, you can let me know in the comments section. So we will be discussing about something called as parameter efficient transfer learning for NLP, which is an amazing technique to basically fine tune all these LLM models, which will definitely be of huge size, like 70 billion parameters and all. So how this parameter efficient transfer learning actually happens, we'll try to see in the code. And we are also going to see a technique which is called as LoRa, right? So LoRa paper, if I go ahead and search, right, it is basically called as low rank adaptation of large language models, right? So these are some of the mathematical concept. Don't worry, in the upcoming videos, I will talk about all every th theoretical intuition about PFT, about LoRa. Right now, a simple way of fine tuning, I'm just going to show you because many people were requesting for this, right? So initially, what we will do is that we will go ahead and install some of the important libraries like Accelerate, PFT, as I said, PFT is nothing but parameter efficient transfer learning. Inside this only you'll find this LoRa technique, which is called as low rank adaptation of large language models. Uh, then we have bits and bytes. Bits and bytes are specifically used for doing quantization. Now, what does quantization basically mean? All these LLM models, you know, when they are trained with 70 billion parameters or 13 billion parameters, by default, the weights data types are in the form of floating values, right? When we say floating values, that they are basically 32 bit values. What we can actually do, and obviously, since I am actually going to do this in Google Colab, we get a very less RAM. So it is a better way that you quantize those weights, you know, from float 32, probably you convert that into int 8. And then probably based on the RAM size, you will be able to quickly fine tune it. Along with that, I will be also will also be using transformers and then you have TRL. So all this libraries will go ahead and execute it. And once we specifically execute it, you'll be able to see that all these libraries will get installed. Now, in the second step, 
the major thing is that we will specifically be using the library called as transformers which is specifically used for this particular purpose and internally we'll also be using pft which is having some lora configuration and we'll use this pft model i know you'll not be able to understand what exactly pft is but i'll just tell you in some time just let me go ahead with but at the end of the day pft actually uh, you know uses techniques which will try to freeze you know when it applies transfer learning on these llm models it is freezing most of the weights of that llm model and only some of the weights will be retrained and based on that they will be able to provide you accurate results based on your custom data set okay uh, how it is done don't worry i'll create a amazing dedicated video to make you understand this mathematical intuitions okay now over here you will be able to see that i'm going to import os import torch i'm going to use a data set i will talk about what data set we are going to specifically do the fine tuning but here we are specifically using open source llm models and then from transformer i'm going to use auto model for casual lm or auto tokenizer bits and bytes i will talk about all these libraries as we go ahead so let me quickly go ahead and execute it okay now till this is getting executed this import statement is getting executed let's talk about some of the important properties over here with respect to llama 2 in the case of llama 2 the following prompt template is used for chat model so this is the specific prompt template uh, here we be, uh, give an instruction in this s symbol and then we have our system prompt which will be closed with the sys brackets and then you will also be able to give your user prompt over here and the model answer will be coming after this after this entire instruction okay so this is how the entire llama 2 models llm models specifically require the system prompt and the user prompt and the model answer format right now any data set here that you specifically get right we really need to convert that data set into this format okay and that is how i will show you uh, how to probably do this there is a technique uh, you can also write your own custom code and all there are many ways okay now what we'll do we will reformat our instruction data set to follow llama 2 template so right now we are going to use this data set which is basically called as open uh, open assistant guana uh, so guana co i hope i'm pronouncing it right now here you will be able to see this is my data set right human can you write a short introduction about the relevance of term uh, monopsony in economics please use example related to this and then mono, uh, mono, mo, monopsony refers to the market so here you can see assistant answer so here the data set is basically in the form of human and assistant like human has a question over there and assistant is probably providing uh, you a specific answer so in this format you'll be able to find out each and every rows each and every rows in different different languages so we are going to take this entire data set and then considering this entire data set what we are going to do we are going to reform the data set following the llama 2 template and out of all these samples all this data set there are around uh, how many data sets are there i guess there are around 10 10k records we are just going to take thousand uh, thousand records or 1k records the reason is that i really need to show you how the fine tuning is basically done so if i go ahead and click on this and if you see this format right this format you will be able to see that this entire data set is converted in this format only right instruction is basically there the answer is over here and this entire s is getting closed right so all the data set is basically converted into that specific format now how do you convert it right so for that already what we have basically done is that over here to know how this data set was created you can check this notebook so this notebook is there already you can see that we are loading the data set we are applying this we are taking the thousand records and then we are transforming right so in transforming basically a simple python code like i have to probably keep in that specific format right so that is the reason i'm showing you this specific code over here just by one click you will be able to do that okay so all the links are actually given now you need to follow now understand guys see understanding how the specific techniques are definitely i'll create a dedicated theoretical video understanding all the maths equations that is required right over here we are trying to see that how you can also run your own fine tuning model right so note you don't need to follow a specific prompt template if you are using the base llama 2 model but right now we will not use will use will not use this base llama 2 model okay how to fine tune llama 2 so these are some of the steps not only with llama 2 with other models also this will work but again there the format may change you know the uh, the format of the instruction the format of your prompts may change 
सो फ्री गूगल को लैब ऑफर अ फिफ्टीन जी बी ग्राफिक कार्ड राइट सो लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेज बेरली इनफ टू स्टोर लामा टू सेवन बिलियन वेट्स ना हियर वी आर गोइंग टू यूज सेवन बिलियन वेट्स बट इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू स्टोर फिफ्टीन जी बी राइट वॉट एवर फ्री मॉडल दैट वी स्पेसिफिकली है We also need to consider the overhead due to optimizer state gradient and forward activation. Okay, so usually in in any LLM models, you will be having gradients, you will be having forward activations, you will be having optimizers. So there also you require some amount of memory. Fine tuning is not possible here, right? Obviously, this will not be possible because seven billion weights you cannot store it in fifteen GB. That is the reason we require this parameter efficient fine tuning technique. Now, what does PEFT basically do? It is going to freeze most of the weights that is present in that LLM model like Lama 2, and only with some of the weights after applying quantization, it is going to probably perform the fine tuning. Fine tuning. Now, parameter efficient fine tuning. I will in the my next video I will talk about this research paper. If you quickly want this video, please make sure that you make the video likes two thousand. Okay. Now what we are going to do over here, we are going to use techniques like LoRa and Clora. As I said, LoRa or Clora. LoRa is nothing but low rank adaptation of rank, large language model. Again, I'm apologies, guys. If you don't know the mathematical concepts, I will explain in the upcoming video. Okay. So first of all, we will load a Llama 27B Chat GPT model, this Chat HF model. Then train it on this 1K sample, which will produce a fine-tuned model with which in the name of Chat Fine Tune. We'll try to create in this. Clora will use a rank of 64 with a scaling parameter of 16. We will load the Llama 2 model directly in 4-bit precision. We are trying to convert that 32-bit into 4-bit. So that is how we are going to do the training. And with respect to Clora, in order to find the low rank index, we are going to use the rank of 64. Right? This is an hyper-tuning parameter. You can just consider right now. This is a kind of a hyper-tuning parameter with a scaling parameter alpha. This is also called as alpha. It will be having a scaling parameter of 16. As I said, everything will be explained detailly when I probably go with the mathematical equation. But right now, our main aim is to probably learn how to fine-tune it. Now, what model we are going to use? We are going to use Llama 2 7B H 7B Chat HF. Then the instruction data set to use is this particular data set. We will be downloading it from the Hugging Face. The model name also will be downloading it, and after fine tuning it, this will be my new model name. Okay. Now these are some of the Clora parameters that is required. Okay. So one is Lora underscore R sixty four. What is this R? This R is a rank of sixty four, a kind of hyperparameter. Uh, Lora alpha, as I said, alpha, right? I told you alpha. Why? Because I know the entire mathematics stuffs in this. Okay, just to increase the curiosity, I am coming up with this first video, and later on I will come up with that. Then here also dropout is basically required. Now, in order to do the quantization, we will be using bits and bytes parameter. So here you can see activate four bit precision based model. So there is a parameter which is called as use underscore four bit, which is equal to true. Then compute data type for four bit based model. So here it is basically float sixteen. Then quantization. We are using FP4 on NP4, so BNB 4-bit quant type. We have to keep this particular value to NP4 since it is 4-bit. Activate nested quantization for 4-bit base model. So here we are keeping it as false. Now understand, guys. These are some of the basic parameters that we specifically use in LoRa technique, specifically in PFT. Then training argument parameters. Our output directory will be present in this results. I am going to run one epoch. Then we are going to enable this FP6 and BF BF16 training. Okay, uh, it is set to true with an A100, right? So A100, uh, you can set it. If you are using A100, you can set it to true. Right now I am using T4. If you have the paid version of Google Colab, then you can set it to true. Batch size for uh, per uh, GPU for training. I hope you know what is batch size. Then you have GPU for evaluation batch size. Then gradient accumulation step, checkpoints, max grad, uh, max grad norm, learning rate, weight decay. Right, optimizer page Adam W we will be using, which is of a variety of Adam itself. Then learning shall learn uh, LR scheduler type cosine because it works on similarity, right? Whatever question and answers we specifically write. Then maximum steps is minus one number of training steps override number of training epochs, and after this you are also putting logging steps is equal to twenty five. Now. With respect to any fine tuning technique, you use something called as supervised tuning, right? In supervised tuning, that is, you require some parameters, right? Max sequence length, then packing, then device map. So this is load the entire model on the GPU zero, right? So this is what are the some of the parameters. 
don't worry uh, these are some of the parameters that you don't need to learn each and every parameter because already all these things are provided by the official page itself i've just copied and pasted it over here right so we will go ahead and execute it so let's go ahead and execute it so all these parameters are set now the step four right there are multiple four steps right uh, one more step is there later on load everything and start the fine tuning process right first of all we want to load the data set we defined here our data set is already pre-processed but usually this is where you should reformat the prompt right filter out bad text combine multiple data some amount of pre-processing is required but already we have done that so we are not going to do it then we are reconfiguring we are configuring bits and bytes for 4-bit quantization as i said right from 16 from 32 or 16 bit we are converting that into 4 bits so that it required less space with respect to gpu for the fine tuning purpose next we are loading the llama 2 model in 4-bit precision gpu with the current corresponding tokenizer right with that tokenizer we'll try to load that and obviously we'll also be loading it with the 4-bit precision Finally, we are loading the configuration of Clora so, uh, and passing everything to the SFT trainer. So the, here is what self-fine tuning, uh, cell, uh, uh, this SFT will basically happen, right? Now let's go ahead and let's do this. So first of all, we are loading the data set. We are loading the tokenizer model with Clora configuration. So here I've written this BNB compute D type and we are using torch. So along with that, you also require bits and bytes config. Again, load, we are enabling this four bit then all the necessary uh, parameters like compute d type will be using houston net, uh, net uh, nested quant okay again i'm telling you guys there is nothing new to learn in this because all these formats will be available in the official documentation then we are going to check the gpu compatibility with float 16 if compute type is equal to torch dot float 16 use 4 bit otherwise these all things are there right then we are going to load the base model See, whenever we want to load the base model from hugging face, we can use this auto model for casual LM, right? That is the reason we have imported on top. Dot from pre-trained model name. What is my model name? I've given that quantization config. So here you'll be able to see in quantization config, we are also given something called as uh, BNB config, right? So here you'll be able to see, this is the compute type. Mm. Let me just search for it. Somewhere here only, it will be available. <clears throat> so, so bnb config so here you can see this entire bytes config is basically there so uh, based on that you'll be okay yeah computer app you okay yeah perfect so bnb config is basically given over here then device map is nothing but with respect to the gpu we are mapping then model.config.use cache false you can also make it true if you want model.config.pretraining underscore tp is equal to one then we are loading the llama tokenizer see for any llm model we also need a tokenizer so that it will be able to convert any llm model the input data that we are specifically using into word embeddings and all so that is the reason order tokenizer from pre-trained again model name we are going to use this trust remote code is one additional parameter that is used then we are going to put a pad token with respect to the end of statement token right so dot this dot eos underscore token specifically applies the token for the llama itself right and here we are giving the padding side as right fixed weird overflow issue with fp16 training all these parameters will be almost fixed guys only thing that you will probably be changing is with respect to the configuration then load lora configuration here you will be able to see pft config lora config all the values that you are putting with respect to this lower configs and yes here you have your pft configuration now this is the most important thing because in this training arguments we had set all the parameters output directory number of epochs this 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 learning rate pp P, uh, fp 16 bs 16 you can probably see over here and then finally we are reporting it to the tensor flow right uh, tensor board then you can also see that supervised fine tuning parameters right i'm giving my model name i'm giving my data set my pft config my data set text field this pft config has a lora config right then you have a tokenizer you have the arguments you are you have packing then you have finally trainer.train okay now this is what is the main thing and that is where your supervised fine tuning will happen step by step we have done it okay, okay let me repeat it quickly we have loaded the data set we have set our d type right we are setting up all our quantization process over here. Here we are checking whether GPU is compatible or not. Here we are loading our LLM model that is Llama 2. Here we are specifically loading our tokenizer which is really used in Llama 2. Along with this we are putting padding techniques. Then my LoRa configuration which will specifically be in terms of PFT config. 
and then all my training arguments will go inside this right uh <clears throat> that this training arguments is with respect to where my output directory is and all learning rate and all okay <clears throat> finally set supervised tuning parameters here we have set it model data set pft config text max equal length tokenizer everything is put up over here and finally we go ahead and train this now once we train it it is going to run for 250 epochs uh, i think 250 step size i have actually given over here sorry 25 steps uh, logging steps let's see what is the batch size batch size is four um yeah till that much it will probably go so let this start so it has already started i guess so here you can see it is downloading here you will also be able to see the data set okay sample data right now you cannot see it because the data set will get loaded okay so table of contents install all the required packages will reformat all the steps are given side by side you can also read it out i know this looks like a little bit tough guys but at the end of the day uh i'll not say that it is easy and just the reason why i'm sharing you this fine tuning technique because you should just get in your mind later on you know this is the pattern that i'm following first execute this don't worry about anything as such just try to get a high level overview how things work later on i will try to break down each and everything in my next video by breaking this entire code why this specific parameters are used because the main thing is to understand what is peft what is quantization what is precision and uh, how how do you specifically use this pft technique what is q lora everything what is low order rank index uh, how to basically calculate that everything i will talk about it okay so we will wait for some time till then uh, just let let us wait and uh, we will i'll just uh, come again I, I think it'll take 15 to 20 minutes to complete this entire fine tuning with 1000 records and then again i'll come back and we'll start doing and seeing whether we are able to get the good results or not so yes uh, let's wait for some time thank you so guys uh, finally you can see here the 250 epochs or 250 steps have completed it took 25 minutes and again this is in google collab if you have paid version of google collab it will probably take hardly 5 to 10 minutes to complete okay so over here you can see the global step was 250 training loss it went went till 1.36 metrics runtime everything met uh, training samples per second all this information is basically done okay and please remember this particular word which is called as floss okay total floss because i'm going to discuss about this in my next video also now <coughs> once we do this we are going to save this trained model right and understand the new model name what it will be right so here you can probably see llama 27b chat fine tune so this is my results with respect to run all the results you'll be able to see over here also okay so here uh, in this fine tuning technique it is also creating some, something called as adapter adapter model okay please remember these words because in the next theoretical intuition we are going to discuss each and everything as we go ahead okay so please make sure that you remember it so we are going to save this model so we have written trainer.model.save.pretrain model right now you can also check out in the tensor board but i will just go ahead and show you quickly that how it is probably going to generate it right so here we have created a prompt which is called as what is large language model i've used pipeline right so this pipeline we have already imported it the task will be task generation whatever model we have actually created that model will be there tokenizer will be used over here and max length we can keep to 200 to 250. the result uh and always understand as i always suggested with respect to llama 2 this will be my format there will be an s then there will be an instruction and here i will be having my prompt and with respect to this particular prompt we are going to get some kind of response so whatever response we are going to get inside this result variable it will be in the form of list and inside that there will be one field which is called as generated text so if i go ahead and search what is large language model you will be able to see that how we are going to get the result okay because we are running the same model over here so here is my prompt here we are using pipeline pipeline basically helps you to combine multiple things like task model tokenizers you know multiple things that will be able to give you right now since this is already running in this particular uh, collab uh, and obviously you'll be able to see ram and all are almost uh, it is used the disk space of somewhere around 39 gb right so just wait for some time and here you will be able to get the response if you quickly want to get the response obviously you need to have a good gpu right 
because based on that it will be able to give you a quick result right so after that you will be also able to see that we will be able to delete all these vrams and all okay so let's see and let's see whether we'll be able to get our result in the next step we can also push our model to the hugging phase which i will keep it right now i will not explain it because this i will show you as an complete project as we go ahead so here you can see what is large language model a large language model is a type of artificial intelligence a large language model often seen then here you can also see all the information are there some example of large language models are uh, include this okay now what we are going to do let's go ahead and take any one example over here from this particular data set okay so i will just write how to own a plane in united states okay so this will be my over here and i'll paste it over here let's see so this will also run and i will finally get my result also so same same question i have taken right so from this 1k result so to own a plane this is the answer that we will probably be getting let's see how much time it will take to probably showcase but always remember please keep on looking at this particular ram like how much uh, time it is probably taking and uh, how much space it is taking okay so so guys here you can probably see the response how to own a plane in united states in united states owning a plane is this determine your budget so this is completely based on this information that is present over here but here i have written only 200 max length so i can only see 200 characters that is given right so you can probably try with each and everything as you go ahead now guys uh, here also you'll be able to see the detailed explanation of each and every step but the most interesting video after seeing this will obviously be able to understand like what all each and everything does over here what this pft does what is this bits and bytes what is this lora everything we will discuss in our next video so i hope you like this particular video this was it from my side i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you and all take care bye bye